We're here with Trisha from Luxury Daily. Trisha, do you think that brands that use social media are too widespread in their consumer reach? Um, I think that social media now is just getting um, so popular that brands that are not on it are definitely missing out. Um, but that said, I don't think that a brand should really focus all of its efforts on social media, especially a luxury brand, um, because I think that's just going to confuse consumers, and especially for, um, say, a brand like Land Rover that has the Range Rover model line. Um, I think it's great that they're using this micro site, and the design is very simple, and they're definitely reaching out to the more affluent audience. Audience. But I think that um, automakers, especially Range Rover, with all these different competitors coming out, really need to focus on personalized efforts. So I'm very excited to see what they do in the future for the Range Rover. I'm assuming that it will have um, appearances at different live events, I'm sure, in all the major markets all around the world. Um, but I think that, obviously, all luxury brands want to get generation, or I'm sorry, get consumers from the new generation. Um, whether or not they do that through social media or through strategic event um, partnerships or different types of disruptive events um, in different cities is completely up to them and how they want their brand image to be. Um, but that said, going back to social media, um, that's definitely where all consumers are, not just the new generation um, that has new money and is looking to see which vehicle um, they should purchase. And that said, um, all the experts I spoke to agreed that Range Rover kind of has an untouchable image. Um, so despite there being competitors such as Bentley and Porsche in the marketplace, um, they all agreed that Range Rover probably has its consumer base and it's not going to be losing those consumers very quickly.